What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So in my live stream this morning, I was getting a lot of questions on CRO, on Kronos coin um, or Kronos token. And uh, a lot of people wanted to know about the future potential of the coin, specifically knowing if it can get over a $100 price. Now, if you don't know where uh, Kronos is right now, we will go through where Kronos is uh, in price. Also, market cap will also go through future potential and where I believe things will get to, you know, within the next few years, right? We may end up seeing something happen drastic in the next couple of months, right? Because um, crypto.com or the leaders of this, uh, creators, uh, developers, um, you know, senior leaders, whoever's making these decisions in the end, and do some uh, pretty crazy things to you know keep this token relevant as well as uh, keeping the drive and push the popularity within crypto.com so i wanted to talk about this and break all this stuff down we're going to get into how it can reach that valuation or that that level of 100 dollars price point what the market cap will be like um, and what the expectations are so make sure you guys hit that like button also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one <clears throat> and make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. Now, we all know that Kronos has, um, you know, sort of been like in the news in uh, discussion lately when it comes to their overall rewards and how they restructured it multiple times in order to um, make it sustainable. We understand that the amount that they were paying out, people taking advantage of things, if people do too much of something, it could be bad for the overall community. And that's what we've seen. So when they were offering, <clears throat> uh, what, 14% uh, for USDC holders, for people that held USDC or Tether or whatever, right, all the stable coins, it was a little bit too much because people would invest a million dollars, $2 million, and they would get paid out, you know, 240, $280,000 per year as they were investing that much money, right? Getting paid out that much money for investing 2 million and knowing that they're secure under a stable coin. I mean, with everything that happened with the UST, I don't know if it's fully secure, but secure under a stable coin um, is just kind of a no brainer for a lot of people. <clears throat> it's pinned to the dollar. You're not going to see any increase or decrease in the price. So you're not going to have to worry about that fluctuating as well as the APY fluctuating. So that did have a massive change. And a lot of people are expressing, <clears throat> were expressing their interest in Kronos. And a lot of people were also disappointed in Kronos. But if we look at where Kronos is right now, it's currently at 17 cents. We know that this hit a high or close to a high of a, above that 50 cent mark recently, not, not um, you know, too many months ago, we did see this at 50 cents. We were seeing a decrease in the overall crypto market. So it's not just Kronos that has fallen, but it does create better buy opportunities. This is why a lot of people are, are saying, hey, can this get to $100 or can this get to uh, $10 or $20 or whatever? <clears throat> and um, I believe it, definitely can it just all depends on what happens so again we're sitting at about 17 18 cents down two percent today you can see the volume is down to 28 million which is very low for being a a top you know 20 coin or uh, rank 20 coin um if you look at the market cap you're looking at 4.4 or 4.5 billion dollars fully diluted market cap is 5.3 billion um and then you're also um, seeing the circulating supply over there at 25 billion and max supply at 30 billion. Now, the max supply should be around 23 billion and the circulating supply should be around 23 billion. But <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with the communication between the contract um, or Kronos and, uh, you know, I was going to say crypto.com, coin market cap, because uh, how much has been burned off? We go into a lot of the detail here and we go into the holders. Um, we go into the wallet, the dead wallet, we're going to see 76% that has been burned off. That's 76 billion. That means that out of 100 billion, there should only be uh, 23.6 uh, billion left. So the fact that there's 30 billion total really doesn't line up with anything that we're seeing here. So it's kind of weird. <clears throat> now, um, knowing that we had that 76 billion that has been burned off, a lot of people look at it at brand new and they're just like, no, oh, it has 25 billion. There's no way this can get to 100. Well, understand that they burned off 76 billion coins, 70 billions in one, 70 billion in one shot, um, which means that they could possibly do that again. And that was when it was at a low price. I believe it was somewhere around 
um, 10 to 13 cents or so. And now we're seeing it around 17, 18 cents. So as it does get lower and lower in these prices, it gives them more of an opportunity to do a buyback and burn. So just with that thought, that theory, you can make uh, Kronos, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of compared to B and B, or at least comparable to B and B. It's interesting. It's very, very interesting to me that I can see this connection, but it's not 100% that that's going to happen. Now, if we're looking at a hundred a hundred dollar price at the moment, we would look at at just a uh, one dollar price. You're looking at a twenty five billion dollar market cap. So if you multiply that not only by ten, you know, at a two hundred fifty billion dollar market cap by a hundred, you're looking at a um, what two point five a two point five trillion dollar market cap. If I if, if I'm not mistaken, I mean I'm I may be mistaken, but you multiply that by ten two hundred fifty thousand. Um, yeah, two hundred fifty thousand dollar market cap, or sorry, two hundred fifty billion dollar market cap, and then you multiply that by an extra zero, you have two point five, um, or two point five trillion. That's a lot, right? That's a way higher price than where we wanted to get to. So at this current supply, no. But just like a lot of things that we're focusing on, burns are a big deal, right? And I just talked about it and how they burned off seventy six billion. Why not make that move to burn off the rest of it to get you to a level, um, you know, where you can reach a hundred dollars, where you can compete with uh, B and B in price. Now, how would they end up doing that? How much do they need to end up burning off? <clears throat> well, I firmly see Chronos uh, competing for that third spot. When we see a bull run, you're going to see, you know, Bitcoin up in the one trillion, two trillion dollar market cap. You're going to see Ethereum up in the five hundred to a trillion dollar market cap. Uh, maybe even surpass where Bitcoin is. We don't know. But then you're going to see BNB that firmly hit 100 billion. You're going to see, um, you know, XRP and all these other positions, Solana, um, you know, Avalanche, all of those in the 70 to 100 billion. But I firmly believe that Kronos will compete for that third spot because it is used for so many things, right? It is kind of that um, it's similar to what you would see with BNB and being used in so many cases when it comes to the Kronos network, when it comes to, um, you know, even trading or, or staking on, on Kronos and all the other stuff, maybe you'll end up getting paid, uh, you know, the CRO, uh, as well as if you do end up, you know, staking with the cards, you receive CRO with the cards. Uh, there's a lot of benefits in staking and holding your CRO, which gives it a lot more value. That's why it's so valuable with so little volume is because the staking benefits are just like top, like top tier, right? They're literally top shelf uh, staking rewards that you can get. Now they have dialed it back a little bit, but I still do believe they're going to compete when it comes to staking rewards there. Um, so Ultimately, I think it needs to come back down to two billion or one billion uh, total supply, which is not horrible. A one billion total supply, you would see a one hundred billion dollar market cap at a hundred dollar price, and that's at a full bull market. Yeah, I do see that getting to that level and surpassing one hundred billion, so probably surpassing two hundred billion, as well as B and B finding a way to get up to those levels as well. Um, but um, you know, 100 billion is not out of the question. 200 billion is not out of the question. Now, I expect to see a lot more of an impact, not only just getting down to 2 billion or 1 billion, I expect them to get down to the hundreds of millions and firmly compete for, or, you know, that second or, or sorry, third spot. In my opinion, that's where I see it going. Now, is that 100% confirmed? No, this is all speculation. I'm not going to sit here and say that this is 100% confirmed and that it will go that route. I hold a lot in Kronos, um, probably my largest holding in the crypto space. You know, I hold um, somewhere north of twelve or thirteen thousand dollars. I just recently checked, um, and it's somewhere north of twelve or thirteen because my staking pool from four thousand did come back. My overall amount that I had in my DeFi wallet did come back as well. So, uh, seeing where it is right now, I'm holding twelve thousand. So, just seeing that increase or double where it's at, it would be 24,000 that I would be holding um, and obviously increase from there, get back up to that 50 uh, cent range and I would be holding 40 plus thousand, which I would love to stake that and get the max rewards that I can get uh, from credit cards, depending on you know what I see there. I may end up just continuing to stake with my CRO and uh, hold on to that and capture whatever APY that I can capture with it. <clears throat> and it'll be something that pays me out every single week, every single day um, as I go through the DeFi wallet. So it'll be very interesting. But right now, 
Um, I'm taking uh, baby steps into it and buying more as time goes on. These are at their lows and I would love to see it at 10 cents. I would love to see it at some of these lower lows because then I believe that they will do something crazy in a buyback and burn of Kronos. Um, you let me know what you're thinking about this. Is it something that could take place or will take place or is it too much speculation and we just need to worry about what's happening in front of our eyes let me know make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you check out some of the links down below it does help out the channel but i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you in the next one